afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's video. Um, we are going to go ahead and get dinner started this morning. We're going to go ahead and do a crock pot meal today because we have jujitsu tonight. So, in my last video, I had mentioned that we were having country style steak and gravy, and I had several of you guys ask for that recipe. So, I've already filmed it once before, but I figured. Hey, since we're having it today, might as well go ahead and, and cook it with you guys. All right, so I'm just going to add in, I don't even know how much flour. I'm going to say probably, I'm a, I think it's a cup and a half is what I said on my last video. <laughs> so we're going to go with that, okay? To our flour, we're going to add in all of my favorite seasonings, onion powder, and I don't really measure, I just sprinkle, sprinkle. Garlic powder. Salt. And of course the pepper. Alright, we're gonna get those ingredients combined really quick. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is wonderful. Hope y'all had a great weekend. By now it's midweek, so I hope your week's going well. All right, now, the object of the game here, and I apologize for all the sun glare. I'm right here at my kitchen and there's a window. Um, the object of the game here is basically just to brown the outsides of our steak before we put it in the crock pot. All right, I have about three pounds of country style steak here, and we are going to go ahead and dip it in the flour, and then we're going to put it into the oil and just allow it to cook on both sides for just a minute or two just to brown it. All right, I think our oil is good and popping and ready to go. So let's get, let's get to dunking. start getting a nice little um, sear or browning going there. So I'm just going to flip them over. All right, once we've got them browned pretty much on both sides, like I said, we're not cooking them. We're gonna go ahead and take them out of here and throw them in the crock pot until we get them all ready to go and then we'll take our next step. the inside view of my crock pot. We're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients now. I use better than bouillon, but you can use um, beef broth if you'd like. Um, probably like one can would be plenty. But I have two cups of water with two, ta two teaspoons of better than bouillon here. We're going to add in one can of cream of mushroom soup. And I'm just gonna put this on the top just all over. Cause you really, I mean, you really can't mix it up like this with the meat in there. Maybe I should have done that first. It doesn't really matter because by the time it starts cooking down, it's going to be all mixed together anyway. Pro tip. Well, I guess my recommendation, I'm not really a pro, <laughs> would be to allow this to cook for eight hours on low. You can do like four to six hours on high, but I'm going to tell you right now that this meat is going to be so tender and so delicious if you will just let it take the time to cook. So I've got one packet of French onion soup mix here that I'm going to just spread all over the top. 
And you guys, that is it. I've already got it on. It's on low right now. I'm going to put my lid on. And now I'm off to the dentist. All right, you guys. I just arrived here at my dentist's office. I'm fixing to go in. It's time for me to get my teeth cleaned. So, actually, I do not mind getting my teeth cleaned. I know a lot of people hate the dentist. But I'm one of those who actually enjoy getting my teeth cleaned. So, here we are. Um, all of the children are in their perspective places this morning. The boys are, you know, in school, whatever. And then my dad is um, keeping Stevie for me right now so I can get my teeth cleaned. Yesterday, Jeff's phone started acting up. What is up with these iPhones lately? I'm so, like, over it. So, Jeff's phone is showing a temperature warning on it. It's saying, basically, that his phone is overheating and that he can't use it until it's cooled down but it's not hot and the temperature warning will not go away. So I know that his phone, we bought it in March from Verizon. And so I know, I think there's a, like a one year warranty. So I'm gonna have to go by Verizon here in just a little bit and see if I can get that situation squared away. Anyway, that's like on the top of my list. Um, as well as, let's see, what else we got to do today? Hmm survive my children that's like every day but anyway we've got jujitsu later on tonight so that's why i did the crock pot meal i'm so excited about country style steak and gravy because that's just like one of our comfort foods that we really look forward to having here so we will have that in just a little while but i'm gonna go ahead and get on into my dentist appointment before i am late <laughs> in the no cavities club <laughs> anybody else got so excited when you were a little kid to be in the no cavities club you got your picture made and hung on the wall yes i was so proud of that all right we just got back missy had a nap while i was gone with papa yeah you ready to go with mommy to the cell phone store <gasps> are you ready are you ready to go? All right, let's get in the car. I finally did it, you guys. I realized, hey, I'm a girl mom. Maybe I should have something to hang her bows on. <laughs> so I got this cute little thing off of Amazon and I love it. And I bought these bows down here. So I wanted something that was just kind of a little more dainty. So I thought those were cute. I got those, I think it came with like 24. Okay, so Verizon was not able to do a thing for me. Here's what his phone's doing. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. It's putting that screen up and it won't do anything else. And it's cold. Like there's it's not hot. So my options are to take it to a local repair shop to see if they can fix it or to take it back to Apple because it's been less than a year that he purchased it. So I guess I'm fixing to call him. He has Hayden's phone and see what he wants me to do, but it's, what time is it? It's 1130, so I'm gonna have to go and pick Harrison up in about an hour, so I really don't have any more time today to deal with this, but he needs a phone, so. You guys are not gonna believe this. I cannot get an appointment at the Best Buy Apple Repair Store until January 12th in about an hour away, and January the 19th about 30 minutes away so I went to a local repair store just now and he said that Apple will replace the phone since or repair it since it's less than a year old but um, I have to just walk up in there I can't just make it I can't make an appointment I have to walk up in there and he says that the same thing happened to his phone and he said when stuff like that happens he um, they make situations like that a priority I guess so I guess I'll be going down there tomorrow morning to get Jeff's phone fixed and so now I'm fixing to roll up into the taco bell because I'm hungry okay friends we got some goodies from Taco Bell all right so I was influenced by my friend Courtney she oh my 
gosh, Courtney, these things are flipping heavy. I got two of them too. It's the Fiesta Veggie Burrito. So if you just watched Courtney's last video, she swooped through Taco Bell and that's what she got. And uh, I got a Harrison and a quesadilla with no sauce and we both got Baja Blast. Yes, we did. If we go to Taco Bell, we gotta have a Baja Blast. Love it. So, anyway, it's a little bit early to pick Harrison up, so we're sitting in the parking lot here and we're gonna eat our lunch. I'm gonna eat my lunch because nobody else in here eats food like that yet. We're gonna feed Stevie because it's time for her to eat and then it'll be time for us to go get Mr. Harrison. Yes, I'm feeding my face. Stevie's feeding her face. We are happy girls. <laughs> hey, kid. Hi. How was your day? Good. We missed you, bud. Why do you don't have your seatbelt? I do have my seatbelt on. What'd you What'd you eat for lunch today? Oh, sugars. Oh, that's great. No, I said not beans. Alright you guys, so sister is asleep. I just lay her down. I'm gonna go in here and check on our crock pot situation and see how it's a going. I did come in here a few minutes ago and kind of stir up the ingredients a little bit. But you guys, it smells delicious. I will type out the recipe and put it down in the description box for you guys. So good. Okay. My oldest son is turning 10 years old next week, and so I need to get some party planning done today. I have put it off long enough. I know you guys saw, I think it was last week, we went in and we actually got some decorations. I honestly am not going overboard. Um, I could totally do a lot more, but we are just basically going to decorate this wall here. And then I always put some balloons and stuff like hanging from the... What is that thing? Fan. <laughs> and then I'm, we've got him a nice cake. Really? So I need to plan out what kind of food I'm gonna have and like what all I need, you know. You can't just throw pizzas down and say, here you go, you gotta have all the stuff that goes with it. So I'm gonna make a list now of what all we need. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. So, just our menu we're gonna have pizza i plan on going to probably little caesars honestly i feel like that's the best value and their pizza is really good um i'm gonna make some cocktail weenies because i know that you know a lot of people really like those i just want to kind of give other options of something else for people to eat i'm gonna do a veggie tray and what i did last year was i went to my local grocery store ingles they have their veggie and fruit tray like containers that they will sell you and you can like cut up your own fruit and put in them. And I probably just need to buy a platter, but 
I always like whenever I'm done with it, just toss it. I know that's probably way too all that. Um, also, I'm gonna pick up some chips. We're, we usually do, because we'll have some little kids here, we usually do cheese puffs, and then I also do chips to dip in ranch dressing. So we'll also have ranch dressing. I'm gonna make some cupcakes. I don't know what color. I'll probably do blue and orange. That'll go along with the theme that he's doing. Drinks. I'm going to do soda and sweet tea. And then as far as other things I need, I pro probably already have enough plasticware, like forks and spoons and stuff like that. So and I may still have some divider plates, but I don't know if I have enough napkins. I definitely have napkins. So honestly, I really need to just pick up cups and cake plates. And of course, I'll be, I'll be adding to this as the week goes on more than likely, but I just kind of wanted to write it down on paper and look at it. Kind of helps me. What I do, I'm coming home to you. And I don't know why, don't know why, don't know why. I'm always feeling homesick. Oh. All I know, all I know, all I know is this is where my heart It's time to go to jiu-jitsu. Are you ready? Here's your clothes. Well. Alright, so we're a few minutes early to jiu-jitsu, but I wanted to update you guys on the whole iPhone saga. So, Jeff got off work a little bit early today, and so he went to the Best Buy that is about 30 minutes away. Apparently, they have an Apple repair Basically, he said that that is a big joke, that it's nothing more than the Geek Squad. <laughs> they were not able to do anything for him. So, he has to actually go to a legit Apple store to have his phone worked on. So, I guess within the next couple of days, he's going to have to be able to get into an Apple store somewhere, which is like, why is this so difficult? You have to make an appointment to go in there. You can't get an appointment to get in there. What is the big deal? <laughs> for real like why can't i just walk into an apple store and say hey something is wrong with my phone apparently you can't Okay, folks, we are back home. I'll show you some real life footage. Look at this kitchen. Hot mess express up in here. But anyway, we're cooking dinner. We're finishing dinner up. I've got some broccoli roasting in the oven here. And then we're going to make this country gravy because Jeff wants some white gravy to go on his country style steak. And then, of course, we went ahead and Made up those Bob Evans mashed potatoes. So we had a minor change of plans. Jeff just got an emergency plumbing call and out the door he goes. So I didn't make the white gravy as I had thought because we had to go before I got a chance to get it done. So I've got some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I've got my country style steak. And then also I did some roasted broccoli in my oven. So. Hayden and I are going to eat because Harrison, my picky child, has already had some pizza. Okay, so while I'm eating dinner, I just wanted to chat with you guys really quick and let you know the continuing saga on Jeff's iPhone. So, I got back home and he had switched out his SIM card and Hayden's SIM card because he's basically trying to make Hayden's phone his phone until he can get, you know, a solution. So he's sitting there and all of a sudden his screen comes on his phone like it's like had a total like reset like you know how it comes up with like the generic wallpaper or whatever like literally the only thing he did was take the sim card out so we honestly have no idea hi cb's joined us 
So literally we don't have any idea like what has caused this. It's really kind of odd. So I guess he's gonna try to switch back the SIM cards in just a little bit and see like if it'll still work because his SIM card is working in Hayden's phone and Hayden's SIM card is working in his phone. So anyway, it's so odd. I guess we're gonna go ahead and end today's video. It is like 7.30 at night. I'm fixing to have to do the um, bedtime routine by myself because Jeff had to step out for an emergency plumbing call, <laughs> as we mentioned a moment ago. So, let's get to it. I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me today. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all!